I'm Steven Taylor, and we are gonna talk about something I get asked about all the time, and that is trash can endings. It seems kind of a mystery about what do we do at the end of a song. Now, I can only speak from my own experience, and that is I used to get freaked out. Like, I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. Everybody referred to trash can endings, everybody called them something, but I, got, I would get to the end of the song and I would freeze up. I didn't know what to do. Let me take the pressure off of it for you. You can use patterns that you already know. That's the best way to do it. It's called a trash can ending for a reason, okay? There's no specific way to do it. There's tons of stuff in a trash can. Just go look in one yourself. Pick something, and that's what we need to use. So, for instance, there at the intro, what I used was just right, left, right, left, kick, kick. So I'm gonna kinda teach you how to go into this. If we wanted to use that again, uh, pick a sticking that you're familiar with. That's the most important thing. For this one, I'll just use right, left, right, left, kick, kick. And what I'm gonna do is, at the end of that, obviously, there's usually a slowdown or some kind of, uh, of ending to the song that puts us in that trash can moment. So it's really important when you get there, don't freak out. You can crash out on the cymbals, maybe roll for a second, and then go into the pattern that you've picked for that trash can ending, and you can even go into it slow. See, some, nobody ever told me that. Nobody ever told me that I, I didn't have to come out of the barn with guns blazing. So if I'm ending something, I'm gonna use that pattern that I just used. I'll go into it slow, I'll pick a drum to start on, and then I'll slowly speed it up, and then, again, slow it back down or do a retard at the end, and signal the ending. Sometimes you'll have a band leader signal the ending, but sometimes if no one's signaling the ending, you need to be the one that does that. And I'll show you just a couple ways to do that in just a second. But if I'm gonna use that again, I'll show it just one more time. Very easily, I just did a trash can ending. And all I did was use right, left, right, left, kick, kick. And I think I may have thrown a right, left, kick, kick at the end, okay? As you get accustomed to doing this, you'll be able to throw other stickings in there with that one. So then instead of picking just one sticking, you'll pick two stickings. So let's do another sticking. Let's do like a six stroke roll. So again, this would sound like this. we take something like that, that's gonna be our song ender, or our trash can moment. So I'm gonna pick a few ways to play it, and then I'm just gonna put it around the drum set. Pick something you're comfortable with this, so, though. So let me demonstrate this. All I did was use one pattern. It's a six stroke roll right there. Now what if we wanted to mix those two patterns? What if I wanted to mix those up a little bit because I've kind of learned them both well? Well, we can do that too. So here's what they would sound like if I just started to mix them up. It's a really effective way to end the song, but I'm using patterns I'm familiar with. Now, on the end of the song, you're gonna have what, I, you, what we call a stinger. So you're gonna need to come out of that song and cue the band that we're actually gonna stop making noise, okay? So the, so the trash can doesn't go on forever. To do that, I'll do, sometimes I'll do another retard and I'll just make a big motion and come on and crash and sometimes I'll slap the snare to end it. It just depends on how I'm gonna do it. So here's a couple different ways I might cue that ending. I also can end it with a snare slap. So that big snare slap at the end indicates to the band, he's a, so your guitars can stop noodling, everybody can stop noodling, and it's time to actually end the song. 
Again, the takeaway for this is, I want you to pick a pattern that you already know and you can already play well. If you know a six stroke roll, that's great, use that one. But if not, pick one that you know. Maybe, you just, maybe you're like, Steven, I just know single strokes. That's okay, you can use those around the drum kit, move them around, and then crash down at the end. Take all the pressure off of your trash can endings. Pick one sticking that you do well, and then begin to utilize that on trash can endings. When you do that really well, pick another sticking. And once you have a couple of them, begin to put them together, all right? Again, I'm Steven Taylor. Uh, I'm a satellite instructor for Drumeo.com, uh, as well as I run my own YouTube channel, and I also have my own website where I teach. So you can follow the links below if you want more information about that. But go pick your trash can ending.